you need to unzip a compressed file in Google Drive? Well, then you've probably noticed that there's no built-in functionality to do this in Google Drive. I'm Chanel Greco from Superis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can unzip files by using the add-on Zip Extractor. Would you mind hitting the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of the videos that I post on this channel? Because twice a week, I publish video tutorials about Google Drive, Google Docs, and so on. And I think it would be sad if you would miss out on any of the tutorials. Since Zip Extractor is a third-party application or add-on, it doesn't come pre-installed in Google Drive at least not for most of the G Suite or Google Drive users. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're using a G Suite account at, let's say, um, your school or at work, then it's possible that your G Suite administrator already pre-installed SIP Extractor for you. That is very well possible. That is the case here at SAP Paris. This is one of the add-ons that is um, installed for all of the users um, that are on our organization. But for all the others, you will have to install it manually. For that, you go into G Suite Marketplace and you just start typing, searching for Zip Extractor. There you go. And you see here in Jane Examples case, it's already installed, but for you viewer watching, um, this might not be the case. So just go ahead and um, hit this button here. It'll install it. Um, if you click on this image, then you just get a bit more of information about the zip extractor and how it works. Okay, so this is now installed. As you see here, I can't even uninstall it. So this is um, this was installed at administer um, at, at admin level, not at user level. That's why I can't throw it out of Google Drive. Okay, so Zip Extractor, let's head over to Google Drive. Here we're in Jane Examples Google Drive, and there's a demo.zip pair that we will want to unzip. Well, this is pretty easily done by just double clicking on it. And here we can say open with Zip Extractor. There you go, it does its magic. And we say extract. So now it's processing it and we can save you files. And we're back here in our um, Google Drive with the two files that we unzipped that we can now have a look at that are pretty much empty, just demo files. Okay, good. So the second scenario is that you want to actually compress a file. You want to zip it, as we say. How would you do that? Well. Let's jump back into our drive here and let's click on new. And there's the possibility if we hover over more over this arrow here to say zip extractor, it opens up the zip extractor. From here, we can say create new zip. We can give the file um, a name demo that that will be our zip file. But now, in my opinion, there's a caveat here because I can add files to the zip, but it'll automatically go to my desktop. Of course, I could go to Google Drive and then navigate through here. So that's a possibility, um, which I think is not so cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting it wrong, but from what I've seen and what I've used in the research I've done, this would be the way. But I think there's a much better way. So let's go back to Google Drive. And if you have a solution for the problem so that you actually have to na navigate through the file system of your computer, please go ahead and leave me a comment below. So anyway, much better way. Let's say I have this G Suite PDF that I want to zip, right click, and then open with Zip Extractor. And now it already created this uh, zip file for me. Let's call this um, demo new.zip, of course. And you could add a password protection to it if you wanted to. We're not going to do that. But what we're going to do is save zip to drive. 
let it do the crunching and now view zip and drive and it should have created a new zip for us just with this document okay uh-huh no we don't want to rename the document so we'll have to go back to our drive let's just go ahead and refresh this let's click on here so you see what i'm doing so that's our demo new and double click on it to verify that it contains the document that we wanted in there. So that would be a possibility how you could create a new zip um, either through new, but then you have to go through your um, computer's file system or right click on a document and say open with zip extractor and there you go. Do you have any questions concerning the zip extractor um, comments? ideas, go ahead and leave us a comment below, please. Um, give me a like if you like the video. Um, and yeah, and you know, just let me know what other types uh, or what other topics you want me to cover in these G Suite videos so that I can help you all become G Suite pros.